Hi guys, welcome back to Home Glass Hacks with me, Laura Quinn. So I've been showing you guys how you can continue to make glass at home with some common household objects and materials and equipment. Today we're going to be making use of our chef's torch for creme brulee. So with that torch, I made these glass botanicals. These are based on bamboo and some glass lavender. For this, you're going to of course need a chef's torch. So this one featured earlier on in one of my home glass hacks. You're also going to need some glass stringers in a multitude of colours. You'll need, as well as that, a large baking tray to protect the surface that you're working on. You may also need lighter fluid to fill up your torch. I'll be using two types of hand tools today. This is called a mashers and it does exactly what it says on the tin. It's used for mashing molten glass into a flat form. You'll also need a tweezers. If you want, you can use a pliers or a vanity tweezers that you have at home. For this method, you'll also need a special pair of safety glasses which will protect you from the harmful light. I'll leave the link to where to get these in the description below. So we'll get started. I'm going to start off by making all of the buds for my lavender. For this, introduce the end of one of the rods into the flame. Make sure to point this glass rod down and away from you so that if any flies off, it doesn't hit you. Once it's rounded into a ball, you can now connect it to another rod and start to pull it out. Then go back in and remove it from the rest of the stringer. Sometimes the glass will just come off with a little tap with your tweezers, other times you might have to melt it off. So now you're going to make the stem for your buds for your lavender to go on. You can do this using a one color um, stem from one rod or you can mix two colors together to make a more natural looking stem. I'm using an opaque green and a transparent green. Thank you. 
For this, you'll need a little bit more heat than what you did to make the buds. Once they're joined, start twisting your hands in opposite directions and pushing inwards. This will start to build up a glob of glass. Once you've got enough glass melted, you'll let the heat even out in it, and then we'll start to pull it out into a stem form. Take it out of the heat to do this and just pull apart really slowly. And detach. There's two ways now. You can start to put the connection points on your stem. You can literally hold the rod down, heat both sides, so both sides have to be glowing red, the stem and the rod you're working from. To create a little nodule off of it. However, this can be quite tricky and the stem can start to bend with the heat. So the way to work around that is by creating what's called a bridge. A bridge is a very handy technique to learn how to do for lamp working. And we'll create it further down on the rod past where our stem begins. It's a very temporary join so it doesn't have to be super hot when they join. So now I'll go back in and add all of my nodules. To attach the bud to the main stem, both sides need to be molten and glowing red. You can now start to detach your bridge so you can work on the very end point. Do this by heating a little bit of the glass and pulling it away.
can now go ahead and reattach the bridge to the tip of one of the buds for extra stability. I'm now going to show you how to make some bamboo. So we'll start off first with the leaves. In a similar way to how we made the stem for the lavender, we're mixing two colours together. We're going to press down gently with our mashers on the glass. Now we have a flat lollipop form. We have the basis for our leaf. So join that lollipop form to another glass rod. And now we'll heat the centre of it to start pulling it out to a long leaf form. Where you apply the heat will determine how the leaf shape turns out. You can add a little bit bend at the end to make it more lifelike. Heat your tweezers a small bit before touching the glass so not to thermal shock it. And then go back in and detach the leaf with the glass. Here are some more that I made earlier, which I'm going to use now in assembling the bamboo. I've got a beautiful ivory colour made by Effetra glass that I'm going to use for the bamboo stem. So I'll heat up one section and when it's glowing, I'll start to push it together to create the nodule. Once again, make sure both sides are glowing molten hot before joining.
So here we have it, a few samples of what you can make at home using your chef's torch. Thanks for joining me today to try this home glass hack and if you give it a go at home and upload it to social media use the hashtag home glass hacks.